Uh, it is my first time in Korea. Um, it's an amazing city you have here in Seoul. I've never seen anything like it, actually. Um, I got to explore around a little bit yesterday, um, see uh, um, one of your markets where um, I did not eat the live octopus, but um, I, I, I did touch it. Uh, yeah, also uh, my first time in Korea, and I'll definitely be back. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back. I've wanted to visit uh, for quite some time, so very excited to be here. I, this is my first time in Korea as well, and I, you know, I haven't had much of a chance to explore yet, but hopefully tonight we'll be going for some Korean barbecue, which we're very excited about. Um, but thank you for the warm welcome. We're so excited to be here. And I've always wanted to come, so here we are. Yeah, my first time here as well. Uh, very excited. Uh, hopefully tonight we do get to have some delicious barbecue. And I wouldn't mind going to do a little karaoke as well. Mm. Yeah, also my first time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to. I got in yesterday morning and uh, went out and, and uh, you know went around the city. I did have the live octopus. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I, they, they, well, they, they uh, chopped it up, and uh, it's still, you know, squirming around on the. You guys know this, but it's still squirming around on the okay. plate, and uh, the suction cups uh, <laughs> got stuck to you, get stuck to your cheek and your tongue. Quite a sensation. Mm. You should try it. It's amazing. Mm. I will definitely have seconds. Well, I've been working with the X Men movies for almost 15 years now, and so. Um, even when I sat down to start writing this, this script about three years or so ago, um, there was a feeling um, of it being bittersweet, um, but also feeling like this is a family I've lived with, some of these actors for almost 10 years now, Michael, we've, we've worked on, this is our fourth film together. It's so many years, um, and it felt like um, a natural culmination of this story that we started telling so many years ago, and we've brought people in over the years, Evan a few movies ago, Ty and Sophie two movies ago now. Um, and it's almost like when you graduate from college, you know, um, uh, you feel a sense of completion, um, but you also, uh, there's some part of it that's emotional and bittersweet as well. I'm glad we finished with this film, um, Dark Phoenix, and we got to really sort of uh, explore Jean Grey's character and she had her own sort of, you know, centerpiece film. Um, I think it's a, a really fitting end to uh, uh, to this journey. You know, Jean Grey's the most powerful mutant in the saga and uh, yeah, I think it does it justice by finishing with, with her story. I completely agree with Simon and Michael. Um, <laughs> And they said it all, really. So moving on to Evan. <laughs> yeah, I agree with all of them as well. Um, I don't, it's always amazing to be a part of these movies. Uh, I always feel lucky. Thank you for having me back, as always. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I always hope it's not the last one, but uh, if it is, it is a great one to go out on. It's uh, really dark and very emotional, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, no, I think we're all very proud of this film and obviously very proud of Sophie. She carries the movie and uh, is incredible in the movie. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite compelling, uh, very emotional. And I think from the very beginning, uh, that was the intention from the start. I think Simon was very clear. So that was all exciting for us. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, um, it's epic, but it's also very real, very honest and, and uh, very raw. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's tricky. I, I guess uh, Hugh is pretty good, Wolverine. Um, it's hard to imagine um, other people in the in the roles. Really, right from I think the original cast: Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, Hugh, uh, Halle Berry, uh, Famke. No, actually, we can imagine somebody else. All both. Ah, uh, me. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, just being a part of this X-Men world is, is such an honor because of the legacy that it carries with it, um, because of how much it's meant to so many, you know, fans through the decades, how, you know, to have these characters as so well-rounded and, 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 as Simon said, you know, these flawed individuals who are accurate representations of what it is to be, 
to be human um, is something that, that's really exciting for me to see in a superhero movie. And um, to have this movie close it off um, with, you know, I think it's for a lot of people, it's, it's their favorite storyline in a comic. And so that is just so amazing that I get to kind of be that person. And, and I'm just honored that Simon uh, put his trust in me to, to play her and, and that, you know, all of you, all of the fans put, put your trust in me. And um, I'm, I'm just really, really honored. Fry octopus. <laughs> I guess gorilla, I don't know, whatever the proper term is. And I think of, um, one thing that a few of the others touched on is that this, this franchise uh, includes characters that are, that are very real, that are very human. And uh, I think, especially in this movie, it's a very, um, you know, what Jean Grey is going through is a, is a metaphor, uh, I think, on many different levels, whether um, it's for, you know, mental health, uh, depression, um, or addiction. I think those things were, were all uh, things that, that we were all thinking about. Um, as uh, as references for 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 this this film is what happens when someone you love um, bec becomes you know addicted by one thing or starts to to turn away from from those that they're closest to and what happens to their family and to the people around them that are that are closest to that person and uh, so I think you know it was a very you know from that perspective it was a very um, a very focused you know very as, as Simon put a very intimate film. Uh, which was really, really exciting in, inside of a, an X-Men uh, story. Uh, so I think that's, that's something that I was really excited about exploring with the character. Uh, so yes, I, uh, for my preparation I studied schizophrenia and dissociative identity disorder. Um, and it was just really to kind of feel the the confusion and the disorientation and the frustration and the anger that drives you to tears that Jean really feels. You know, she had she has these auditory and, and uh, well, what feels like auditory hallucinations. Um, and, and, you know, once she's kind of phoenixed out, she stops and, and she kind of can't remember what she was doing from one minute to the next. And it's just very frustrating and very disorientating. And so that really, really helped me get into the character. Um, but yeah, we, Simon and I studied a lot about schizophrenia and, and dissociative identity disorder, and it was just really, really interesting, and um, it really fueled kind of the character for me. And without studying that, I don't think I would have quite found her. Gosh. Um, sheesh. Well, I mean, it's only a two-hour movie, so um, you don't have to take a bathroom break, probably, or... or, or um check your phone. There's so many highlights of this movie uh, for me. Uh, you know, I would say without spoiling it, um, that the very last scene of the movie, um, I mean, it's hard to say, but I would say the very, very last scene of the movie might be a highlight for me because it closes with some people that uh, I began this X-Men First Class journey with. Um, and so that to me, seeing those characters together um, and all of the backstory and history and uh, ups and downs those characters have been through. Uh, and so for maybe for me, just the fact that it was the last scene that we shot, I feel emotionally connected to it. I think it's, it's filled with very subtle emotion. Um, uh, but I have so many scenes that I love in this film, and, and obviously so many scenes with Sophie, because she's really the center of the movie, uh, where I am just kind of was astounded by the places she went, was willing to go emotionally, psychologically, physically in some cases, um, that I've just never seen an actor do from start to finish of a film. Uh, I would say Sophie Turner's performance. Uh, I'm serious. I think, uh, you know, really had uh, some scenes with her, one uh, piece in particular, where I just thought, wow, you know, it's, it's always a very satisfying and um, inspiring thing to see an actor really come into their own and, and take a lead role and grab it with both hands and, um, and yeah, just uh, fully immerse themselves in that part and stand up to the challenge and, and really nail it. So I would say Sophie Turner. <laughs> um, for me, I would say that the third act of this movie is visually so incredible. I think that there's, not to spoil it, but there's a sequence 
on a train, which is just mind blowing. I think, um, you know, the VFX team and, and the stunt team and um, all of the actors involved just really kind of outdid themselves on this one. I mean, it's just such a visual feast. Um, and that's my favorite part of the movie, for sure. Um, I would say the, the combination of, uh, you know, all the exciting bits you get out of an X-Men movie, the, the fun battle scenes, um, the, the, the visual, you know, um, all, all the VFX and, and crazy action sequences, and then I would say how, how compelling and emotional this movie is, and, and I think that's tied to Sophie's performance, so I guess uh, my, my answer would be quite similar to Michael's. Um, and uh, yeah, I think Sophie's just amazing in this movie, so.